Hello and welcome to the next tutorial, especially for the T8 editor. So my friend Andrea, she already explained two functions, and but I want to go a little bit deeper. And in this case, I would like to show you also that you are able to connect a mouse, a USB mouse, and even you can put on a wireless mouse if you want to. In this case, I have here simply a mouse which is actually available everywhere in the market. And I put now my USB port behind a port. And in this case, I just have to stand up and check where it is. Here we are. But if you connect a mouse, you have to restart the system. That means we have to switch off the machine, wait a few seconds, and we switch it on again. So the machine is now restarted, and we see already on our screen a little arrow, which is for the mouse. And if I move now the mouse, you see the arrow is also moving, even wireless. And so I'm able to go in any functions, in any settings, wherever I want to go to, and open, for instance, designs if you need one, and anything else. But what we would like to do is, at the first time, we have to go into the editor. So we go into the editor here, and I can pick up now a design. I will go even now to pictogram, and as you can see, I do everything with my mouse now. And I will take now this little design here, and I can open it by via double click. And it's there. So we are now in the editor. First, I would like to show you what it means. We do have here our design, as we can see. We do see also the amount of stitches, the total amount, and which is the start needle, needle number one. Here we do have our stitch list. And on the left side, we have some functions, as well as on the right side. I would like to show you first the left side functions. So we will start with the function called table view compressed. That means it allows me to show you only the needles or the trimming, especially the functions inside the design. If I do so, I got even a possibility to select several functions. First of all, it's written here, all special functions should be shown. And if I say confirm, then I see now in my list all the functions. And if I go through with my arrow keys, it will jump even with the cursor to the right position where I go, want to go. This is one possibility. But if I want to look only for needles, I will go back in and I put away the check here, all functions, and give now a check on needle change. I did. Of course, you can do also another one. You can add on. And simply I confirm now. And now I see only the needle changes. This is quite nice, especially if you want to change a needle in a design. For instance, uh, the needle number one should not be one, must be always number five. You can do it now very easily without searching it. Right. So now we do have our needles here all the time. But to come back, that we also see the stitches, we have to press the button L1 means show me the whole stitch directory or the whole stitch list. If I do so, I take this hand, you see, we are back. Another function what we have in here is this one here means show me the repeat. You have to imagine that as CSK machines are able to make uh, designs that are bigger than the head distance is. Means we do have or we support actually a head selection. And if I have, for instance, a multi-head machine, I can tell him, show me um, how many heads do I have. And I say, I will have a six-head machine. And the head spacing is, for instance, now uh, 450 millimeter. But I can also change it. Maybe my machine does have only 300 millimeter. And I can see now the distance in between the designs, you see. Um, it's just an overview that you always can control if the design is right or you have any displacements inside. We go out. We say previous. It is just a view. Nothing will change your design, just in case that you know that. All right. The other function, which is gray, is at the moment not available, but we hope in future you will get the next upgrade and it will have some nice features for you for sure. But let us check now the bottoms here, the bottom buttons. We do have here... A button means previous page, and another one means next page. So it depends for the list. It means when I go with the L1 button up, 
it goes further up and up and up and always about 30 stitches. If I take that one, it goes down 30 stitches. If I take number three, means go to the start point. I press it and we are back on the start point. If I take the number four, it means go to the last stitch, actually to the end of the design. Also, I can go to a particular stitch number, means I would like to go to stitch number 555 and confirm and it will jump exactly to this stitch point. On the other side, we have here buttons with a little blue arrow on it. The little blue arrow means go to the next special function. This could be a stop, could be a trimming or a needle change. If I do so, you see, there is a trim. I go to the next as a needle change. I go to the next again a trim, etc., etc. This is forward and this is backwards. So far so good, but now it will be more interesting. So we have to have, as you can see, a big stitch list and quite a small image of our design. But we do have a possibility on R1 to change the display. If I do so, I got now my design much more bigger and the stitch list is smaller, which allows me now even to zoom. You see here now a zoom possibility as well as movements. I will show you now. I can control this even with my mouse. And I go now with my mouse to zoom up. I press it and press it and press it several times. And so you see, I can able to zoom it. If I use now the arrow keys on the T8 control, I can go forwards and I can go even backwards and check my design, right? So with the next button here is to zoom down. Logical, zoom up, zoom down. And that one with the X, with the red X means show me the overview of the design. If I press, we have the overview again. Right, we zoom up once again, zoom, zoom up, up, up. And here we are able to move the screen to the left side, to the right side, up and down. However, right, this is just to get it in the right position if you want to. Now I do have my mouse and I'm even able to edit stitches, quite simple. And um, a benefit of this T8 unit control is even the machine is sewing, I'm able to edit any other design already. And so I can pick up a stitch with a double click, left mouse double click, and I got it. As you can see, I can move it and set it now down, maybe to this position. It will go automatically to the next stitch. But this stitch here where the little cross is now, I don't want to move. So I use now my arrow key down and it will go to the next. And I just set it down with a left click, next, left click, next, left click. And so I can increase or decrease or just simply set the stitches on another position. If you finish with it, you are able to leave it just simply with escape. The stitches will be set it like that. And now we can also save the design and it will be as it is. So, okay, we have seen now what we can do with our left mouse key. That means we are able to set stitches. And if you use the right mouse key means go stitch forward. So it's not important to use actually the arrow keys. You can also go with my right mouse click stitches forward, forward, forward. And the left mouse is actually just to set it in another position and I continue like that. All right, this is about the mouse and I think it is quite a nice feature. Anyway, let me show you now what on the right hand side we have. We do have the button here means the display change. I told you once before, if you press once again, we got a small view of our design and a big stitch list. And if I do it again, we are back, which just changing the view. And on the next one is our design header. If I take now R2, the design head shows me already the real colors and the needles what we have used. I can also see the start point. If I press the button here, means U1, mark starting point of design. If I do so, I can see the start point as well as the end point if I want to. If you go to the next page, we got some more information about the design. As you can see, the smallest stitch, the longest stitch in here, when it was created and when it was the last time used. And the next page shows me then also the colors, maybe the real color from your thread. 
This depends what you have done on your digitizing system, if you have given the information or not. But you are able to change the colors as well in here. You see here on the bottom, we have here the possibility to change the color for the needle if I want to, exactly for the display. Um, there's one possibility to do it by yourself. Another one is to give a name for the needle. You can see here, top it's called now needle. I can call it, I don't know, green, blue, red, whatever. And if I have done this, then comes the color number if I want to, the thread thickness if I want to, the type of the thread, polyester or rayon or whatever, and the needle thickness as well, the 70 and 80, and the length of the thread if you want to. This is all information I can give if it is necessary. Anyway, the other buttons here, ZSK and the GIS, means these are the true colors from both, means we're using actually a certain color like we do have at the beginning blue, red, green, and white, and the GIS does have at the beginning green, blue, bright blue, etc. Um, I think these two buttons are not so important. Basically, what is important is the first one to change the colors as you wish. By the way, one thing I have forgotten, you see here on the bottom, the, it's called BG, means the background. The background color can be also changed if you want to. In this case, I go down with my arrow key to BG and change now, for instance, the background color if I want to. Maybe I like it to have it a bit colorful if I want, like this. I try now to get it a little bit darker. So, and I confirm once again, and you see now our background is darker. This could be green, could be blue, as you wish. Right, this is about the design header. The next button I have to show you a little bit later. I cannot do it immediately because I have to do something else in this case. We will go to the function called edit stitch. Edit stitch is also to change the function itself in the design. I will do this now that you see. If I press the button, we got on the bottom here the needles. That means we have the needles from 1 until 8 and if you press the button um, U9, you got also until 12 needles. The button more, the last one means show me the other functions which are available like trimming, stop, bore on, bore off, sequin on, sequin off, and a speed. The speed is for sure quite interesting. You can go on a particular stitch in the design and tell him reduce the speed or increase the speed. This is up to you. And um, I think this is quite nice, especially if you have a critical situation or maybe the thread is not so good as it should be, you can reduce on that particular part the speed. I'm not doing it right now. So there are some more functions. It depends basically what kind of machine you have from us, but you are able to change every special function in the design. To do so is the way to use the three buttons on the left side. You have here the first one called delete a stitch or delete a special function. The next one here underneath is insert a stitch or insert a special function. And the last one here means edit or change a stitch and a special function. Now in this case, I want to insert maybe a needle change. If I do so, I have to say insert then also here on the bottom, you can see now it's called insert stitches. And I tell him now, I would like to have needle number seven. And I confirm it once again with insert and the color is changed now. I zoom it a little bit up that you see better what happened. But you can see already we have two different colors. Unfortunately, I took a bright blue. I didn't know that before. Anyway, I think it's clear. Just in case, you, we go forward, forward, forward now with my arrow keys, which you can do with also with the mouse. But I want to insert another one, maybe needle number two. I'm pressing needle number two, say insert, and now you see basically the different what we have done. Zoom a bit down, then we can see maybe it better. Right, we insert now needles. Um, for instance, we want to delete a function. Then we go to the function with the arrow keys or with the right mouse key from the mouse until it is highlighted in the blue bar. 
You see it's now needle number two and if I want to delete it you have two possibilities. Either you use the button delete here where the red X is or you use simply the delete button on the T8. If I do so, press confirm and you will see the needle disappeared. All right. If you want to go quickly to a next needle change or to a next function, you are able to use also the arrow keys left and right. If I do so, you will see it jumps to the next function. In this case, it's a trim. Now I, don't, I want to change the trim into a stop. How can we do this? You remember I told you that we have here the insert part and this is here to change or edit a special function. Okay, so I need to press this button and then he's asking me what kind of function do you want to use. I go to more and use now the stop. And please watch if I press the stop, it's changing now to the stop and the trimming is gone. This is how you change or insert and even delete functions inside your designs. And don't forget, while the machine is sewing, you are able to do this, not in the particular design which is already sew or which is sewing, so another one of course.